Before we start the video, Gymshark have a big sale on right now. If you want to look good when you're down in the gym, the link is in the description below. It's up to 50% off on selected items. This is one of the biggest sales they will do this year. When you use our link, you help us. So thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to True Jordy Extra channel. Now a lot of you have been emailing us, messaging us, how do I do this workout, how do I do that? So I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna get in the gym and give you a few videos to help some of you out, especially the new people, specifically for the beginners. With bench press, which is what we're doing today, a lot of years seem to come in the gym feeling like you've gotta keep up with the people who've been doing it five to 10 years. I'm, I know so many young lads, they've got massive egos, they don't wanna look weak, so they pile the bar full of weight and they try and keep up, fuck that, right? Just check yourself before you wreck yourself <laughs> okay then there's the people who don't have the confidence to get in the gym who who are shy who are scared they think that they're gonna look weak don't worry about it everyone starts in the same fucking place weak as piss even francis and garnu wouldn't have been great on day one so just chill this is hopefully going to help you get from where you're starting to where you want to be the first thing you're going to want to do is warm up you can get on the treadmill for a few minutes get on the heavy bag for a few minutes do some stretching get yourself ready for what you're about to do and then you're looking for the best bar you can find in the gym how do you know which one that's going to be well this one for example it's not too thick you don't want to feel like it's an olympic sized bar but this one is a bit smooth i personally prefer one with as much grip as possible this one over here is the one that I go for you'll see when you look at this there's a lot of grip on there and what you want is the tightest grip possible when you're bench pressing all right next thing you're going to want to do is get some fucking chalk on your hands like I say you want the most grip possible because when you're fucking battling this bar you want to have as tight as hold as possible because that gets your strength up gives you no moisture so you can get a real good fucking grip there that's what you want I like to do another warm-up when I get on the bench with no weights at all everyone should do this in my opinion it gets your muscles used to the actual motion before you put any weight on just to let your arms your chest the tendons and everything know what's about to happen when you're about to take the bar off the rack think about how far back the bar is sometimes you get lucky and the bar isn't too far back at all and it's just a simple up with this one it's very far back now with no weight on that's fine but when i put a load of fucking weight on here and i've got to then get this bar from here to here that can be fucking dangerous so you need a spotter and you also need to make sure you know what the fuck you're doing and know you can handle that weight if you haven't got a spotter but use a spotter if you can when i'm bringing the bar down i'm taking it round about nipple height remember that because that will give you a good gauge to make sure that your arms are in a straight line and that's what they should be doing so when you're bringing the bar down and you're new to this if you're not in a straight line like that you could be over here you ain't got the strength to get yourself out of trouble you're out of balance it can come right down here like that very easily and fucking hurt you especially if you've got weight on or if you're down here oh, you're fucked you need to make sure you're like in a stiff motion like a machine straight up straight down straight up straight down the first thing you want to do before you even think about putting weight on is just practicing that motion get used to it because when you're putting weight on you don't want to be thinking about technique and technique is the most important thing to nail down first so that later on when you try to get strong you don't have to think about any of that you've got it and that's how you'll get strong Okay, so one of the first things you're going to wonder about is where the fuck do I put my hands on this ball? There's three different grips. One is close grip, which is a lot more for your triceps. If you want to get big arms, doing it like this, very narrow, builds power straight from the arms, and this will help your overall bench press anyway, even though it's not traditional. One that a lot of people use for a bigger chest is wide, because as you can see, you're stretching your pecs, coming right the way down good stretch to get in there and my personal favorite is in the middle because it's a bit of both i feel really comfortable like this i think a lot of you will it differs because obviously i'm wider than a lot of yous will be but you just have to find what's comfortable this is about close this is about wide i would say this is in the middle think about what you feel comfortable with a lot of yous will find the more you bench press, you'll find out what kind of bencher you are by which bit 
you struggle on on the bench press. So the people who are stronger on their chest than they are on their triceps will probably be very good at this bit, the bit where you're driving from the bottom. And then when it comes to locking out, they'll struggle at this bit. Whereas the people who are stronger on their arms will struggle at this bit, so they'll be going, and then when they get here, they'll lock it out because that's where they come in. And if you work out what your weaknesses are over the time that you're training, you can then train for that. So if you find out that you've got stronger arms, you can work on the wide grip. If you find out that your chest is stronger, you can go on the closed grip and work on your triceps. One of the things that really fucks us off is when you see wannabe strong men doing half reps not even fucking touching their chest, none of the... I don't want to see any of this shit from these, basically. Where you pick the bar up, and you've got loads of weight on, and you take it to there... That's not a fucking rep, right? Now that you've got that in your head, what I like to do for my warm-ups is 20 reps wide grip, 20 reps medium grip, 20 reps close grip with nothing on the bar. That's just to get my body really warmed up and almost so that my mind is completely in tune with what I want to do with that bar so that when the weight's on, I'm not thinking, I'm just driving the fucking bar. <laughs> That way as well, there's a lot less chance of me having one of those accidents that you see on fucking these gym idiots where their pet rips clean off because they didn't warm up properly, a lot of these guys. Now you're probably wondering how much weight I should put on the bar, how many reps I should do. Well, that's a bit like asking a runner how far he should run. It depends on what you're looking for. If you want to get super fast, you're going to run 100 meters. If you want to, you know, be long distance and thin and lose a load of weight, you're going to do 10 miles, you know? So it depends on what you're looking for. That's what you need to ask yourself. If you're just a beginner, then you should be doing very light weights, you know, like these, for example, small weights, whatever you can manage, sets of 10, and, and do maybe four or five sets of 10 so that you're feeling it, but you're not gonna drop it at any point. You don't wanna put yourself in any danger when you start now. Just get used to that motion before you start packing weight on, and think about your goals. If your goal is strength, you're gonna wanna find out what your one rep max is, and an easy way to do that is to do six reps that you think are really heavy, and that is your absolute best for six reps, safely obviously, and then add 10% onto whatever you manage to do that with. Then from that we can calculate everything else. So my ideal strength workout is I do about four to five warm-up sets and I work up to a heavy work and three sets of five reps of 80% of that one rep max. That's three sets of five reps of 80% of me one rep max. Then the following week I do speed work. Two reps of 50% of my one rep max by eight sets. And the reason for that is I find that on week one, when I'm doing my heavier stuff, I get that power generated. And on week two, I'm using that acceleration to get my body used to getting that bar off the chest as quick as possible. And also, you, you see a lot of these injuries happen because people's tendons and their muscles are getting hammered by heavy weights constantly. And it, it surprises you, but resting those tendons in that speed week and getting them used to that acceleration is fucking fantastic. If you're wanting to build muscle and you don't give a fuck about what you can lift and you just want to look good in your tight t-shirt in the summer then forget about percentages and all of that you really you should just be working up to what you feel is breaking down the muscle and you can actually listen to your body that's the most important thing as a bodybuilder how this feels not about what weight it is I mean weight will give you some idea of you know the strength going up and therefore the muscle is increasing but you don't need to focus on it the same way a power lift I would. For me, I, I tend to just think roughly six to 10 reps, four sets at what I feel is about 85, 90% of what I can do. So I'm not gonna drop the weight, but I'm really feeling it and that should be enough. One of the most important things to remember is how to grip the bar. I, I see some people grip it with a thumb over the top like this. All it takes is a little slip of the hand and that can slip out and hurt you. Always have your thumb around that's just my opinion and also one of the main things that I was taught when I was younger was to just grip that fucking bar as tight as you possibly can because the tighter you grip that bar the more you activate your triceps here which you can feel when you when you grip anything tight you naturally activate your triceps more and it's a big help when you're really pushing hard grip that bar as tight as fucking possible
In terms of your body shape, when you're actually lying down on the bench, hands on the bar, you want to first dig your shoulders right back into this bench so that you've got a solid place to work from. You don't want to be all over the place, sliding or anything like that. You want to be set and you're not fucking moving. From here down, I've got a little arch in my back so you can put your hand underneath there. Legs planted, solid position, back drilled into this fucking bench and I'm locked in. So this is my working set for the day. We're doing 140. Uh, normally I don't do this anymore, to be honest, I've been doing more cardio and boxing, I haven't been on the weights as much, but I wanted to give you an idea of the intensity that you are gonna end up going to. Even on less weight, it's not about the weight, it's about the work that you are putting in. You wanna give your all. It's, it, fuck the weight, you know what I mean? But hopefully you'll see that from me, providing I don't hurt, hurt myself. <laughs> Alright, normally I should have a spot up, but I, I've done this a few times, so it should be alright. And that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> If you're not making horrible sounds like a granda getting out of bed, you're probably not trying hard enough. And now we're going to do a few speed reps to finish off. Alright, I'm finishing off on a bit of cardio. Just for you lot who think I don't do any. Um, I hope you've learned something from the video. It was just advice. You don't have to fucking take it. If you're already an expert, do let me know in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like us to explain or have a go at next in the comments. See you later. That'll do.